Buongiorno. Welcome to Italy. Well, not quite Italy, but it's as close as you'll get in this country. We're in the highlands of Florida, just west of Orlando at Bella Colina, which means beautiful hill. And it is a beautiful setting from the magnificent clubhouse to the Nick Faldo designed golf course to all of the magnificent surroundings and lakes right here in the spirit of Tuscany. So sit back, relax, allow the spirit of Tuscany to fill your soul on this latest edition of The Traveling Golfer. Let the celebration begin. We're with Jim Kroll, director of golf at Bella Colina, standing on the back of the second green. Wow, what a vista. A lot of vistas on this golf course. Nick Faldo design. Not a lot of people know his work. Yeah, he did a great job, really. I mean, it's a beautiful layout. Uh, we've got a lot of elevation changes, uh, and he really used the land very well to create his 18-hole uh, his design. Yeah. And what people are going to find out quickly when they get here are two things. One, a lot of elevation change and a lot of bunkers. Reasons for both. Exactly. Well, number one, the bunkers uh, make it very challenging for the golfer. So he's placed them strategically in different spots so that you have to actually move your golf ball around the golf course uh, to be effective. Yeah. And the bunkers are also used for less grassed area, which makes it a little more ecologically friendly? Absolutely. We've got a lot of bunkers, a lot of waste areas as well, and so it's more of a target-oriented golf course, and it takes a little less water and irrigation. Not only is it a challenge to construct a course on a hilly piece of property like this, but it's also a challenge to play it. You've got to keep a couple of things in mind, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you really have to use or try to use uh, the uh, undulations to your advantage on the golf course, and what you'll end up doing is using every club in your bag, uh, to play the golf course, so that's what makes it challenging. Also, once you arrive at the green, the challenge isn't over. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the greens are very large, very undulating, so you really have to be a good lag putter because the greens are very, very big. And if you are a good putter, you can make some putts. Uh, they're, they're very undulating, uh, but they're very fair and very smooth. Now, I know everybody has a couple of favorite holes on all their courses. You know this place as well as anyone. You've been here from before it opened. Your favorite holes? Sure, a couple of holes uh, come to mind. Number seven would be the par three uh, up the hill. has got a lot of bunkering, very steep slopes to it, a uh, very challenging hole. Also, number 14 is a good challenging par four, a short par four, but a good challenge. You have to hit a good tee shot and hit a precise iron right into the green. One of the ones I like, Jim, was number five. Sets up really well, a dog leg left, waste area, and I thought one of the best constructed green complexes on the entire course. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's a great driving hole. You have to place the golf ball in the middle of the fairway, and then once you get to the green, then really the work begins. And then followed by number six, a drivable par four, maybe. Yeah, great risk-reward hole. You can uh, use your driver to try to drive the green, or you can lay up and try to hit a wedge in. So uh, it's a, one of those holes where you can make a, a eagle or birdie or, or maybe even a par. The golf course only opened in 2008. Still not really mature. Getting better as it goes on? Yeah, sure. It's getting better and better. Uh, the people really tend to like the golf course and also like to play the golf course or like the golf course the more they play it. Take the word from the pro. Come to Bella Colina. Enjoy the golf course. Play it on the ground. Have the fun. And then talk about it after. We're with Jerry Thompson, general manager here at Bella Colina, inside the 75,000 square foot Tuscan inspired clubhouse. Jerry, this is an overwhelming building, every single room, wonderful sight to behold. It certainly is. It's a, it's a building, a clubhouse that Almost every single visitor that comes here thinks that they are outside of the United States and in fact visiting Tuscany. You have your member for day programs and of course your members 
who would then make this part of their home? Amazing. True. And that's all part of a lifestyle here, not just in your home, but you're in an extended home? Absolutely, because that's what our members expect. They've chosen a lifestyle to be pampered and only to receive the very best, and that's what we try to provide in Bella Kalina, is anything that will make the members happy and excited to come home. For those people that have chosen to make Bella Kalina, which means beautiful hill, as their home, the clubhouse is an awe-inspiring place for them to do all kinds of activities. Nick Faldo Signature Championship Golf Course for them to play on. They can also go to our world-class spa and be treated like a king. It's nice to be pampered. Oh, isn't it? The fitness center for them to work out or take yoga or special classes. We also have dining anywhere from formal to more casual 19th hole style. You have the 19th hole where golfers coming off the course can get a great lunch, and I don't mean just the typical hot dog after a round, but everything from exquisite conch chowder to salads that are just world class. That's true, Tony, and our executive chef, Jeff Clark, is so much in tune with trying to provide all of our members with the specialties, not only from, from Italy, but from cuisine all over the United States. They can have almost anything they want. And I saw by the menu that he focuses on fresh, farm-to-table foods. Seems like he's in that newer trend. Absolutely, and very picky about where he orders his food from, as a matter of fact. It um, puts a lot of thought into it and only brings the finest products into Bella Kalina. And you know I love wine, and your wine cellar? Oh wow, that was built with our members really in mind. All of our property owner members, they have their own wine locker in our wine cellar and they store up to 32 bottles of their favorite wine and when they come to dine, they just let the server know which, which uh, wine they'd like to, to enjoy that evening. This stunning clubhouse grabs your attention at every detail and part of that has to be the workmanship. It absolutely is. When Bella Kalina was built, all of the stone was actually imported from Italy, as well as the workers that do all of the barrel tile. It's extremely authentic, and we have a lot of visitors from all parts of Italy that come and cannot believe it. They say, wow, this has to be part of our home. Jerry, the detail is carried on even into the landscaping of the property and the course. Yeah, Tony, it really is. The Italian cypress trees that are all over the property, they look like Tuscany. When the wind blows, they bend over, and it's designed to be that way. The stonework is even carried onto the golf course. Not only are the car paths most of the time stone, but so are our comfort stations, our monument signs. They're all built out of the stone that you see all around the clubhouse further making your, your trip playing golf like it's nowhere you would find in Florida. And not only is this a clubhouse for members, but for new families starting, a lot of weddings take place here. Oh, absolutely, Tony. We're doing over 170 weddings a year now. And it's because the brides and the grooms and their families, when they visit Bella Kalina, they don't feel like they're in the United States. And even though that we're competing against venues that have a room base, which we do not at this point, we're still selected because of the authentic and unique style of having a wedding that feels like you're in Tuscany. What better setting could you possibly have? It doesn't look like anywhere in Florida that I know of. Yes, you just do not know you're in Florida when you come to Bella Kalina. The spirit of Tuscany follows you all the way to the gates of the property here at Bella Kalina. This episode of The Traveling Golfer has been a great golf experience, but even more so, a cultural experience. We hope you all got the chance to drink from the bountiful fountain of golf. Golf Wardrobe, courtesy of Antigua, the leader in modern golf apparel. <laughs>